This, ladies and gentlemen, is the Logitech MX3. And in this video, I'm gonna be telling you why this is the best productivity mouse that money can buy. So here we go. So after this old mouse here broke on me, this is my beloved Zowie FK. I started looking for something that was comfortable, scrolled well, and was preferably wireless. That's all I was really looking for. I wasn't asking for much. And while stumbling through the internet, I came upon this category of mice called productivity mice. And here I am thinking, there's such a thing called productivity mice? And that's when I stumbled on this guy, the Logitech MX3 with the MX2 coming before it. Now, a little bit of a warning, this mouse is a little bit expensive. It retails for $99 American, and for a lot of people, $99 is a lot of money for a mouse. But I personally think this mouse is worth every penny. So quickly, let's go over the features before we dive into what I really like and what I kind of dislike about this mouse. And by the way, there's gonna be a link to where you can get this mouse down below in the description section of this video. So in terms of the most important features, and it's a long list, the Logitech MX3, comes in black and gray, is wireless, has a 70 day battery, charges in two hours via USB-C, works on any surface, including my cat, sports a ultra fast meg speed scroll wheel, which according to Logitech, lets you scroll up to 90% faster, has a horizontal scroll wheel that lets you move laterally, has an ergonomic shape that's great for both comfort and productivity, lets you seamlessly transition between computers using a one-click feature on the bottom of the mouse, supports button remapping per application with Logitech's included software, and finally, it has a gesture button that allows you to do things like switch desktops on Windows or view all your open applications on Mac. So those were quite a few amazing features on their own. I just wanna give you a little bit of a tour of this mouse before we move on to the good and the bad parts. Uh, so just taking a look at this guy. So we have our front buttons on the top here, a very nice like tactile feel, kind of what you would see on the Microsoft IntelliMouse. Uh, this is really the feature of the mouse, which is this mag speed scroll wheel thing here. Uh, and there's two modes that come with it. And there's a top button that you can hit here that lets you switch between the no resistance mode for this scroll wheel. So it just goes and goes and goes and goes. And if you switch it to the ratchet mode, that's when you get these little ticks. And I'm not sure if you can tell here, but there's these little stoppers. You can kind of see my finger stops moving. That's what's called the ratchet mode. And that's a pretty neat feature. It's what I personally use. Gives you a little bit more fine grain control when you're using this mouse at slow speeds. I personally found that if you're going really, really fast and you have it on the free spin mode, you just lose control of this mouse and it becomes more of a pain to use. So that's my suggestion. Use the ratchet mode. Uh, it still supports the free spin if you push it hard enough but it's got that little bit of resistance early on so you can really control this mouse well in the front it's got the USB-C charging port on the side here so there's a couple different things going on so this is the horizontal scroll wheel uh, so this lets you move horizontally on your pages and of course you can remap this to do whatever you want uh, by default in Photoshop you can do things like uh, making your brush size bigger or in like Premiere Pro lets you move around it, you can truly customize this however you want with the in-house software that's provided to you by Logitech. Of course, we got the forward and backward buttons. Really nice feel on these. They're a little bit shaped outward, so they have a nice little hull that you can grab onto. And on the bottom here, this is the gesture button. It doesn't really look like much, but as you're using it, you use your kind of uh, thumb here. And let me just demonstrate. So you just press down on your thumb like I kind of am there. And again, on Windows, that'll bring up your desktop. And on Mac, that'll show your open applications. Uh, there's also a mouse click down, so you can actually press down on this thing. And uh, it, it's a tactile button that you can use as well. And the last part of this mouse on the bottom, so this is your on and off button here on is up and down is off in the center is where your sensor is and on the bottom I'm not sure if you can see but there's one two and three here and this is how you switch between different devices you just simply tap and hold this button for a few seconds and it'll switch to the next device so that's a little bit of a tour of this mouse so now let's talk about what's good and what's bad so one of my favorite features about this mouse is, of course, this scroll wheel. After all, this is pretty much one of the main reasons why I bought this mouse. If you're the type of person that likes to move around very quickly and you like multitasking, or if you're looking through a lot of documentation or reading through a lot of code that can be very, very long, this mouse is an absolute dream. It lets you fly around the page, navigate large documents very quickly. 
Um, I am totally in love with it. I'm probably not gonna switch back to any other mouse at this point. This wheel in itself is worth $100. Uh, I hope more companies start adopting this kind of tech. Now, one little tip that I do have for you in terms of the wheel, uh, when you first get it, you're gonna notice that it's a little bit too quick. You're gonna be scrolling through too many lines at once. Now, there's two ways that you can adjust this. One is using the software that comes with it through Logitech. And the other way is by doing it on either your Windows or Mac. On Windows, you just type in mouse and then you just change the number of lines scroll per wheel tick uh, and that'll kind of slow the most down for you so it's a little bit more controlling and again I suggest using the ratchet feature like I was telling you before and the other really thing that I like is the horizontal scroll wheel which you can see over here and it's like it's got these grooves I'm not sure if you can tell here but it's got these these well-made machine grooves and it gives you this this tactile feeling in your hand and it just feels so solid, uh, so well made. And I gotta be honest, I never really realized I like horizontal scroll wheels or like this button. I've never heard of it before until I saw this mouse. And I don't think I can go back to a mouse that doesn't have this feature. This is truly one of those things where you don't know you want it until you try it. So I'd highly suggest you to just try it out just for that. I assure you it's more useful than you think. And it's especially useful if you have a smaller monitor like Say for example, a 24 inch uh, where your content may be a little bit compressed, where you don't have that much real estate to work with. That's where this horizontal scroll wheel really comes in handy. Now, the next feature that I really, really like is the ability for you to switch using this mouse between different computers, your laptop and your desktop, for example, by just one click, just a simple click on the bottom of the mouse. It can link to up to three different computers. As you can see here, there's a one, two, and three. And all you have to do to switch between these is just tap one of these guys and there you go now it's looking for number three which i don't have set up so this is very very useful for those of you that are switching between machines very often um, it does require a little um, bluetooth sensor and i actually have one right here that i will grab out of this machine for you one of these guys they don't cost a lot it actually comes with one of these and you just plug this in and that's what uh, kind of detects it on my desktop if you have something like a mac on your laptop then uh, it's already got built in bluetooth so all you have to do is sync it and it works perfectly out of the box so the only caveat with that is that you do need to have the logitech software installed on both of the computers in order for you to switch between them uh, like i mentioned now another little extension of this feature is that they have this thing called Logitech Flow and what this allows you to do now this is like a true mind bender what it allows you to do is if you're using this mouse on one computer you can like right click and copy so control C if you're using you know a keyboard and then go to the other computer and then paste that in so super super cool little nifty stuff uh, so if you're switching between computers and you copy something on one and you want to move it to the other and this is actually pretty useful by the way it's not just like a nonsense feature you can paste that onto your other machine so super super handy stuff now the next good thing that I really really like is the quality so with this mouse, you can really tell that this is made well. After all, it should, it costs $100, so I would expect no less from Logitech. It really hits all the right notes in terms of quality. You can tell this thing is super, super well made. It has all these little subtleties that you notice as you start using it. Uh, for example, if you're using the ratchet mode, it can automatically detect when you hit the bottom of the page and it'll stop the mouse for you instead of just letting it scroll and scroll. Uh, another nice little thing is these little like groove marks. Not sure if you can tell, but there's these groove marks on the back here. And at first, I didn't really realize what this was for. And what I realized later was that it's meant to give you better grip when you're holding it in your palm. So when you lift it off of the surface of your desk, when you're kind of shifting it from one spot to another, or when you run out of mouse pad space, it lets you get that extra grip. And this is in contrast to something like my Zowie FK here, which as you can see, it's got pretty much nothing. It's all plastic and it can slip out of your hand, especially if your palm tends to get a little bit sweaty. So definitely hit all the right notes in terms of quality. This thing is really made well. And after all, it better be, it costs $100. So there you go, you get what you pay for. Now in terms of the bad, there were only two small things that I did not like about this mouse. And the first part is the gesture feature. So I, I do like the idea of the gesture. Like I, I like the fact that you can press this button and it'll bring up your desktops. But I, I think Logitech really missed out on the execution of this. I think this button, it's a little bit of a spongy material and it's just awkward to press. Like you're pressing down with the bottom of your thumb. It's just a weird movement that doesn't feel right. And I really hope that they can make this right in the next version. It's such a shame, like you have this great mouse and that's like a useful feature that I wanna use regularly, but I just can't because it's too darn awkward. 
The second thing that I notice about this, more on the software side. So if you like to scroll around a lot like I do, you'll notice, like I was mentioning before, it's got this free spinning mode where it just spins and spins and spins. What you'll realize when you're using this mouse is that while it's spinning, clicking does not work. So if it's in freewheel mode and just spinning and spinning and spinning, you're not gonna be able to click your mouse or right click or do anything else while it's, while it's spinning. And I kind of understand why this is happening. If you just flick this thing, it's continuously sending like mouse wheel up signals to your computer. So if you try to click while that's happening, it's not gonna get that signal. So that's a small little thing that I noticed, uh, kind of annoying, but once you realize it's there, it's easy to get over. So in terms of closing thoughts, the Logitech MX3 is an incredible, affordable, wireless productivity mouse that is aimed at folks that are looking to squeeze every ounce of optimization and efficiency out of the hardware that they buy. There's a lot of subtle features that go into this mouse that truly make it a pleasure to use. And that includes this beautiful scroll wheel that you can see here and also the lateral buttons and just the build quality in general. This thing is super well made. You can tell it's built to last. And to be perfectly honest with you, I already switched over to using this mouse as my daily driver. I don't expect I'm gonna buy another mouse for the rest of my life, except maybe another one for my brother. But really, this is a fantastic mouse. And if you do want to buy this mouse, I'm gonna put a link down in the description section below to where you can get it on Amazon. Now, as always, if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.